In this video, I will consider one numerical on superposition theorem. Determine the voltage Vx across 30 ohm resistor using superposition theorem. So this is the given circuit. Here we have Vx. We have to find voltage Vx using superposition theorem. So here we can observe that this circuit consists of three sources. One is independent current source. This is independent voltage source and here we have current dependent current source. So while considering superposition theorem, we have to consider one source at a time. That is, we have to consider one independent source at a time and the dependent source should be kept as it is. So first let me consider 4 amp source alone. Then let me find the voltage across 30 ohm resistor. I will call it as Vx1. Later I will consider 60 volt source alone. Again I will find the voltage across 30 ohm resistor, I will call it as Vx2. So the total voltage will be sum of these two, that is x2. So let me consider 4 amp source alone. So if we consider 4 amp source alone, 60 volt source should be short circuited. So let me short circuit the 60 volt source. Here there was a 60 volt source, I will short circuit. So now I will find the voltage across 30 ohm resistor, I will call it as Vx1. So let me simplify this circuit. So here we have three loops. So in this loop, current is 4 amp. Let me assume current in this loop is x. Let current in this loop is y. And let current in this loop is z. So anyhow here, current x is equal to 4 amp. And current z is nothing but 0 0.4 ix 0 0.4 ix and here we can see ix is the current which flows through 20 ohm resistor which is nothing but x minus y that is x minus y that is ix will be equal to x value is 4 minus y let me call it as equation 1 so now let me apply kvl to this loop here i can So apply KVL to loop Y that is apply KVL to loop Y. So here there is no any voltage sources 0 is equal to voltage across 10 ohm is 10 Y. So here voltage across 30 ohm register is 30 we have Y plus Z plus voltage across 20 ohm register is 20 Y minus X. Let me simplify 0 is equal to it is 10 y plus we have 30 y plus 30 z plus we have 20 y minus 20 x or is further 0 is equal to so we have 10 y 30 y plus 20 y is 60 y plus we have 30 z minus 20 x so x is nothing but 4 amp that is 20 into 4. Further, I can simplify this as this is 80. I will take 80 on left hand side. 80 is equal to we have 60y plus 30z. 80 is equal to 60y plus we have 30z. That is 30z is nothing but 0.4ix. 0.4 ix or i can write 80 is equal to 60y plus so it is 12 ix or i can write 80 is equal to 60y plus 12 ix ix is nothing but 4 minus y so it is 12 4 minus y let me simplify 80 is equal to 60y plus we have 48 minus 12y or I can write 80 minus 48 is equal to 60y minus 12y. 80 minus 48, it gives 32 is equal to 60 minus 12. It gives 48y. So therefore, y is equal to 32 divided by 48. So it gives 0. 667 amp. Therefore, 
now we can write ix is equal to 4 minus y that is 4 minus y <coughs> or ix is equal to that is 4 minus 0 0.667 3.333 amps so therefore now i can write vx1 is equal to v out 30 y plus z that is 30 into y plus z or we can write vx1 is equal to 30 in bracket y value is 0 0.667 plus z so z is nothing but 0 0.4 ix that is 0 0.4 into 3.333 so simplifying this we will get vx1 is equal to use vx1 is equal to 60 volts So Vx1 is the voltage across 30 ohm register considering 4 amp source alone. So now similarly in this circuit I will consider 60 volt source alone and I will open 4 amp source. Let me draw the circuit. So now let me consider 60 volt source alone. So voltage across 30 ohm register I will call it as Vx2. So let us calculate Vx2. I will assume current through this loop is say x current through this loop is say y. So here y is nothing but 0 0.4 ix that is y is equal to 0 0.4 ix. We can see here ix is nothing but minus x. ix and x are opposite to each other. I can write y is equal to minus 0 0.4 x. So now let me apply KVL to this loop. So 60 is equal to voltage across 30 ohm register is 30 that is x plus y x plus y plus we have voltage across 20 ohm is 20 x plus voltage across 10 ohm is 10 x let me simplify this 60 is equal to we have 30 x plus 30 y plus 20 x plus 30 x 10 x or i can write 60 is equal to we have 30 plus 20 plus 10 that is 60x plus 30y or I can write 60 is equal to 60x plus 30y is nothing but minus 0.4x or I can write 60 is equal to we have 60x 30 into minus 0.4 that is minus 12x or 60 is equal to we have 48x. Therefore, I can write x is equal to 60 divided by 48. So, solving this, it gives 1.25 amps. Now, let me calculate Vx2. So, therefore, therefore Vx2 is equal to that is 30x plus y or I can write 30x plus 30y or I can write 30x plus 30 minus 0.4x because y is equal to minus 0.4x or I can write 30x minus 12x therefore Vx2 is equal to 18x or Vx2 is equal to 18 into 1.25 therefore Vx2 is equal to 22.5 volts. So now let me find the total voltage. That is total voltage Vx is equal to Vx1 plus Vx2. Or I can write Vx is equal to Vx1 is 60 plus Vx2 is 22.5. Therefore Vx is equal to we have 82.5 volts. So this is the voltage Vx that is voltage across 30 ohm register and it is calculated using superposition theorem. Thank you for watching.